welcome to Fountain FX on Wednesday the 12th of March 2014. We're taking a quick look at news and market information before we switch over to the charts just to see if there's anything that we need to be aware of. And all it's talking about is Europe's hot new export is deflation, which is very nice of them. A uh, bit of a negative view on the European economy. Then if we flip over to the main headlines, it's talking about uh, the US stock market to retreat. Uh, everyone's talking about it very much being a bubble in the stock market. The pricing, of the, the S&P 500 is at an all-time high. Um, they're expecting it to uh, turn and collapse. They're also saying Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac plunge to the um, mortgage providers or the bond providers in the US. And uh, these are the guys that were very much the leading e indicators of the crash last time. They both basically went bankrupt and the U.S. Uh, government had to fund them heavily to the tune of trillions of dollars to keep them going. And uh, it says basically they closed down 31% and 27% in value, literally just in a matter of days. So if we then flick back over to see what news is coming out today, 12th of March, and there's not a lot of serious news for the US dollar or the euro so we're okay with that so pretty much it's just going to be a case of looking at the charts and trading according to what the technicals are showing us uh, there's no news to actually cause any disturbance on on what the market activity is actually doing so if we flick over to the charts so when we look at the daily chart of the euro US dollar we can see that Thursday last week was when the price from this area of consolidation exploded upwards and there was a lot of news to say you know it's uh, reached or it's heading towards the 139 and uh, in terms of that the value of the US dollar is declining against the euro which is to be expected as the US economy continues to pour money into stocks and shares etc and uh, it's moving from the dollar into that level of investment so but it's pushed up hit the 139 we then have a doji formation on uh, Monday this week, and then prices literally turned and pushed down. It did fall as far as the 138.33 level, where it then pushed back up from, but today it's continued to push down. So let's go and have a look at it in the one hour. And if we look at the one hour, we can see that previously this is where price was creating tops and then lower tops. So creating a series of lower highs as price pushed down. It then did rally. Uh, with the uh, European Open yesterday pushed all the way down to this 138.33. Now that level was actually taken previous day from this level here in terms of the pullback as price rallied up on the Thursday, the, the, the effect of that push up. Now the thing is we've got a gap below there. If it breaks through here, because price moved with such momentum up there, there's not a lot of um, order flow that happened as price rallied so there's not a lot of buying and selling going on it's just a lot of buying and price rising so um, it's seen as a weakness in the market and if it breaks below there the potential is, is that price could come all the way back down to the origin of this move so there will be traders out there that will be sitting here with their buy orders to turn it the opposite way and obviously there will be um, traders sitting there with sell orders to push it down and hopefully benefit from this big gap fill. So what we want to do is we want to look at what the market's doing and as we can see it's coming in to push, it's, it's, it's broke, came down to this level, pushed higher, created a, a high again, equiv equivalent of the previous high. So it pushed back up to here, the 138.68 level, before it then turned and pushed down. So there is selling pressure in this at the moment. If you consider the amount of momentum that went up, literally within one day, we were up at the 139 and it's taken us three days and we're still not really back down at the 138.30. So um, price is there pushing, there's, there's selling pressure, but I would seriously look at and consider this as an area to buy yet again um, because price did push up, come back up to here. It would be nice to see it bounce off here and break this high of the 138.68. Um, that's really my what I'm looking at at the moment. However, should this level be broken, we want to be looking to use it as an area of support as price then falls and fills this gap. So uh, the reason why this is known as a bear trap is because this is where all the bulls are sitting to push the price up. 
and not allow it to fall back down and close this gap. Um, really, price needs to be further away from this uh, 138.33 for there to be such a, a bearish momentum down to cause the price to continue to fall and break through this level and go lower. Uh, happy trading and thank you from Fountain FX.